Welcome, everybody, to a throwback. I am recording this on my laptop. This was the last thing that was in here. I don't even know what season this was, but I figured I would show it to you anyway. We got the old classic RLCS logo, but this is going to be our London major predictions. Me and Wave didn't have enough time today to get it done. He traveled in late last night. We had rehearsals today, so I'm just going to do something quick on my laptop and try to make it not too loud because it's already 11 o'clock here. Um, but yeah, so let's just get into it. I'm going to like erase this, but I figured that this was a nice throwback. So uh, let me delete this guy. There we go. And then uh, let's make um, let's make some edits here. First, we will start with some, I guess, hot takes, maybe. Um, hot takes. Let's do it. Hot take number one. Mobula wins one series. I have a feeling that Mobula is going to be one of those teams where, like, the game differential will really play a factor. I think they can, like, get a win here or there versus some other teams and maybe bump up into that one or two seed in the 0-2 round and then play either APAC or Chiefs, and I think there's a shot that they win that match. So I'm going to say Mobula wins one series. That's my first hot take. I don't know how big this is on your screens. Oh, there we go. It's good enough. Hot take number two, and then we'll get more into, like, bracket stuff, I guess. Um, oxygen loses in Swiss, and I'm going to say to SSG in the 2-2 round. To have them match up, that'll be a nice key round for NA versus Europe. I think Europe obviously has been on top for so long. Maybe it's finally NA's turn to get a shot. I am rating Oxygen a little bit lower than I probably should, um, but for some reason, I just think it's time. I think it's time for Space Station uh, to maybe make a top eight, and it would be pretty fitting if it was a crazy two and two match. Like I think this very likely wouldn't happen without some upsets. Uh, but space station auction would be a fun game five round five match to determine who goes to the playoffs. So that's where I'm going to go with that on that. Let's talk about maybe the teams that make it through. So at this point, let's do some rankings, uh, Swiss rankings. Um, and then we'll do a little bracket stuff. Let's uh, look at the teams here real quick. Um, I'm going to just go bold, I guess, because in Swiss, this always happens. The 3 0 teams, I'm going to go a little bit bold. I'm going to go some some upsets here. Uh, I'm going to go Vitality. I cannot spell. Is that spelled right? No, that was not spelled right. What am I doing here? It's been it's been a day, I guess. It's been a day. Vitality. And I'm going to go Falcons again. Um, or not again, but Falcons and Vitality. I'm going to go 3 0. I'm going to see if they can like pop off early on, see if they can carry that momentum. 3 1 teams. Let's go G2. Let's go BDS. So the two favorites probably outside of Falcons. Um, and the third one, let's go. Let's, let's go Furia. Let's go Furia. I think Furia is going to find a way to figure out their form. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know if that will change going into bracket, but we'll give them the 3-1 round. And the 3-2, I think Gen G makes it Space Station. And gentle mates will scrape by and make it in. Um, so we'll have, what is that? Three European teams, three NA teams, a SAM team, and a MENA team this time around. Last time around, there was a big split between top eight and bottom eight. I think that split will be a little bit closer with the oxygens of the worlds, the space station of the worlds. Like they should be closer in rank. Uh, OG's been playing better. Maybe there's a chance there. Uh, Twisted Minds, maybe a chip on the shoulder. Maybe they come out hot. But I think generally I'm still looking at very likely I would have nine teams that I would put in my top eight, and that includes obviously Oxygen, but I'm going to go with the bold take and say uh, that they miss out. But I expect it to probably be either them or Space Station, maybe an outside shot for an OG or a, tw or a Twisted Minds or a Team Secret based on bracket play. I have no faith in OCE. I cannot pick them um, until they win something. So that is what we have there. Uh, moving on, let's see if I can like copy this over here. Um, uh, so I don't know if this works really well. Again, I'm doing this off a laptop with my webcam is not working. So uh, I apologize in advance, but I figured I'd get something out, a little something, because why not? All right, see if I can move this. Boom, there we go. Look at that. We can move it. Let's erase what's inside. And let's get our bracket going here. All right, bracket. So, in the 3-0, 
I think Vitality would probably be one seed. So we'll have Vitality versus maybe um, a space station, we'll say. Because if they're going to Oxygen 3-2, very likely that's the case, right? So let's do a Vitality 4-1 space station. We'll get this back on screen there. Um, after that, we will have Falcons. Which call them foul versus, um, well, we'll just say who they beat. Uh, so it'd probably be, I'm gonna say Gentlemates. Like, Gentlemates have had like last major, a lot of close games, but they found a way to win them. I expect that trend to not happen as much, and I expect their game differential to hurt because of that. Um, I do think they make it through, but I'm gonna put Gen G as the high seed out of this. I'm not sure why, uh, but I'm gonna bank on that. Maybe Gen G plays G2 at some point, so they get a free win. I don't know. Uh, but I guess that wouldn't happen because they wouldn't be 3-2 very likely. But who knows? Um, so we'll do Falcons versus Gentlemates. Um, let's just go GM for them. Um, I'm going to say Falcons win this. I think Falcons find a way to have a better tournament uh, this time around, and Gentlemates, your last winners, will be knocked out a little bit early. G2, BDS, and Furia. I'll probably have BDS as the high seed here, so BDS versus Gen G. Um I will go probably a 4-2 for BDS as well. It's weird. I'm picking all favorites, but honestly, that's just kind of... It's hard to do predictions without picking the favorite that you just picked in Swiss. Um, so that's what I'm going with there. And then finally, we have... Uh, that would be what? F G2 versus Fury. All right, here we go. Here we go. Can I do it? Can I do it? I can't. Uh, we're going to go actually 4-0 here. So it's going to be another one of those Fury games where they get found out. And G2 is just going to dominate. Um, so there you go. Uh, G2 moves on. So that would be G2 versus Vitality. I'm going to go Vitality here. Let's go 4-3. I think they get their uh, uh, revenge on G2. And then we have a BDS versus Falcons. London special for Falcons, even though it's not really the same people, but whatever. Um, do I do it? Do I do it? Mm. Nah, I can't. I can't. I think BDS is on a tear right now. It's going to be hard to pick against them, so we'll go uh, BDS 4-2. That one's tough, though, because like, I think everyone's rooting for the Falcons. I think everyone's rooting for non-Europe, honestly, uh, but it's so difficult to choose against them. Like like people say, I'm European biased most of the time, but honestly, um, I don't think I am. It's just they're that good. So the final game here, we will have is a BDS versus Vitality, and I'm going to say it. it's going to happen. Finally, BDS will go 4-3 because it's fun. For the final, BDS will be your winner in the finals, 4-3 versus Vitality. They get a little shook up maybe in – maybe they play each other in the 2-0 and round. Um, Vitality takes that, but then we get the rematch. BDS comes out on top. Monkey Moon gets another title. And to that GOAT conversation, we get Zen in the final, so that would be fun. Um I think Europe is still probably the most dominant. I think G2, they obviously have a good shot, right? But I think if you're going to pick four favorites, it's definitely obviously BDS, Vitality, Falcons, and G2, right? But if you're going to pick like – so when I did my power ranking tiers, I basically just picked one from each region as like the actual favorite from that spot, which I think it makes sense. Um, so, yeah. So that's what we're going to go with there. Besides that, I think at the lower end of the bracket, I'm not expecting too much. I think – Chiefs could be one of those 0-3 teams. I think Gladiators are the other 0-3 team um, at that point. And then 1-3 is, you know, uh, Mobula or Mobula. I don't even know. But I assume it's Mobula. Um, we'll go 1-3. I could see uh, Power going 1-3, maybe 2-3. But I still don't have faith in OC. 1-3 um, Team Secret or Twist of Minds, I think that could be an interesting one. I think Twist of Minds probably be the 1-3 team. I think OG is probably better than them. Um, but you never know. You never know how it all plays out. Then a lot of the other NA hopefuls will fall down in the two and two round, or I guess so it's, it's only OG at that point. Uh, so they would fall down in the two and two round as well as team secret. And who did I miss? I don't think I missed everyone. I don't know. I'm coming up with some, with blanks. Oh, and oxygen, of course. Um, so that's my one upset, I guess. I guess I have two upsets. That's the oxygen out in Swiss and Mobula wins the series. Uh, those are my two upsets. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. We're starting tomorrow. I'm making this very late at night. I'll put it out tomorrow morning, I guess. 
Or maybe I'll just put it up now. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, and uh, we'll see you at the London Major. Hopefully you show up at the cover box. Say hi. Adios.